The speed with which these doors open is mildly concerning. That would, that would hurt. Just get decked. You would just get wrecked, man. Bankrupt's like, ah, an opportunity to rest? You just slept. And it was dream sleep, which isn't always the most restful. But good times I need to hone my lance, says Astinian. Uh, Graha's just like me. S lying to himself that he's going to read on the airplane. <laughs> hey, no mind to me. I was just going to pick up my switch. Let's help know. Do? I'm assuming it's just going to all explode, right? It seems weird that nothing would happen. You ready, Dalfi? I'm ready. Straight into another cutscene. Ere we depart, we must leave nothing undone. Quite. Though it is difficult to conceive of how one can best prepare to brave a domain where Dynamis governs all. Nevertheless, Heidelin deemed us worthy to travel, or of the trials that await. For lack of any other feasible option, at this late stage, let's trust in her judgment and face Miran as we are. Which leaves the not-so-small task of coordinating our efforts here to you and Tatara. Not so small, what? <laughs> if all goes to plan, we'll be back before you know it. I don't understand why he's surprised. I certainly hope. We'll be praying for your safe return. Mayhaps it will affect the dynamis for the better. With that settled, we should get some rest and make the most of the time we've been afforded. Mm hmm? Yeah! The meeting is over, isn't it? You were in there for so long, I started to worry. What did they have to say? We're taking the ship. Edge of creation. I see. Rest assured, everything will remain in order until you return, and you will return. Actually, Val, Tuna, can I borrow you for a moment? Looks like your plans for the interim are decided. When the two of you have finished, meet us back at the Baldessian Annex, all right? I think I know what this is. Dress up time. Yes. Time to dress up. Come with me to the Agoria. I have something to show you. Dress me up. Make me look fabulous. <laughs> but not that weird cage mask. That was kind of creepy, Totaro. I don't wear headpieces. Not sure why you did that. Making everyone who don't get headpieces very angry. Think of everyone, Totaro. Might as well jump. Might as well jump. We're in a hurry. Whoop. Except for relaxing. Have some heals. Well, thank you. Practicing for later. Welcome, Valentuna, to Tataru's Taru Boutique. I've always done my best to provide the Scions with fashionable attire. But in your case, specifically, I make an extra effort to strive for the most functional yet stylish clothing one can ask for. Not that I'm playing favorites, but you are the warrior of light. Faced with the unprecedented crisis, I knew you would need an ensemble unlike anything I've created before, and that I wouldn't be able to do it alone. And so, I've enlisted the aid of the world's finest artisans. I finally completed my career-defining masterpiece. But then inspiration struck, and I saw a golden opportunity to just begging to be seized. With the help from some Thavnerian refugees, I decided to set up shop here in Charlie. Of course, I would never charge you for any of our works. Perish the thought! Varsod? That's a choice. How are <laughs> things coming along? Are they behind the counter? Oh, they're behind the counter. <laughs> Everything is in order, Mistress Tataru. We'll be ready to open shortly. Which is 
why I brought you here, to be our very first patron. Would you mind waiting here for a moment longer? Wait at the destination. The following event cannot be skipped. <laughs> oh my, a dress up is a lengthy endeavor. Hey everyone, and welcome to our Clips and Highlights channel. If you want to keep up with everything Kyle and I have going on, make sure you subscribe to the main Grinding Gear YouTube channel, which is where we actually do these streams. That's right, we stream right here on YouTube. Oh, and uh, sub to the Grinding Gear podcast. Apple, Google, Spotify, really any podcast platform. We're probably there. Thanks. Several cutscenes. Clemency in chat says, yeah, I mean, the clan is the end game. Oh, who could this be? Someone didn't expect to find us here. Rowena? Ah! Petra. Oh, sure, sure. I imagine Nidhana would also wish to offer her regards. Alas, after delivering our dragon scales to the engineers, she remained to assist with their work on the ether burner. This simulacrum, too, will stay in Charlayan, while I oversee matters in Radzat Han. It is a rather convenient means to keep abreast of developments pertaining to the final days or anything else. It, allow, it also allows me, after a fashion, to watch over my people in this distant land. Barshan, I was hoping you'd stop by. I can't thank you enough for allowing your artisans to work here at my boutique. Please, it is I who should be thanking you. This establishment has restored a sense of normalcy to their lives. You have blessed them with newfound purpose and a means by which to support themselves in these troubled times. What's more, when they at last return home to Radzat Han, the experience and knowledge they have gained in your employ will no doubt prove a boon to the artistry and commerce of our land, and they may sell more than no fish. In fact, I came here to see how your new employees are settling in and to express my gratitude for granting them this opportunity. It's an opportunity for me as well, believe you me. Your artisans have taught me so much about Badnerian craftsmanship. Their resourcefulness and ingenuity are nothing short of expiring. <laughs> Inspiring, not expiring. Yes, it's a little hot in here. I can't wait to see what kind of wonders we come up with. Which, now that you mentioned that, I am concerned for the camera temps. I forgot. Oh. I have. Oh, sure. I pray you every success in your endeavors, Mistress Tataru. Before coming here, I heard word of the forum's decision, of what will soon be attempted. It was only then that I finally understood why my father called this star the last bastion of hope. Indeed, it was the last bastion, for the flame of every other star he encountered had likely been extinguished. In the boundless dark, the light of brimming life must have been blinding in its splendor. Your journey unto the heavens to protect that light, may the scales of my kin serve you well. I have faith you will prevail and restore peace and tranquility to this star. I wasn't expecting to have a choice here. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I kind uh, of... I, I'm going with mid. Yeah, I feel like I middle... I kind of hate most of these. Middle feels canonical because I've seen how many shops are there for endgame. <laughs> God. And we should be honored to receive you. There is still much of Radzathan you have not yet to see. <laughs> Forgive me, but I must take my leave. Fare you well and remember, the people of the star have not yet given up hope, and neither must you.
Line them up. Who's next? Take a guess. Arnvald? We haven't seen him in a while. I want to see. Uh, uh, we haven't seen Lise in a while. I want to see Hien, damn it. Oh, Hien would be nice. See a voice acting scene for Hien. Where must I go to get a meal with some flavor in this wasteland of taste? Uh, Nero. <laughs> Please be Nero. <laughs> That'd be Insulting fat. the local that cuisine. That would be fantastic. Oh, no, it's a Madeline. Uh, oh, no, he saw us. Oh, no. never ever your eyes. Uh, oh, yeah, you made uh, eye contact. Uh, uh. Oh, it's just like Thanksgiving all oh, over again. It's like when you go to the same restaurant too often and you 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 know the annoying waiter. Val, old boy, my, whatever are you doing here? A new boutique, you say? Hmm. I had been meaning to expand my wardrobe. Yes, something with a little more flair, perhaps, befitting a man of my station. Though I have nowhere to flaunt said remnants. So as long as my confinement continues indefinitely, I, the young Lord Fortin, insisted that so long as there is work to be done, no matter how trivial, I must abide here in Charlian. Thus do I toil through every fire of my being rails against it. Why, I've even suffered the company of that brute Sicard to see supplies transported in a timely fashion. Yet he was the one granted leave this morning to participate in some supposed covert operation. So I suffer instead for his otherwise welcome absence, now burned with my extra busy work, and without honor it here, there is no one to prepare my meals. I came here in the hopes of finding a nice cafe, perhaps. Alas, the Charlian delicatessens I've sampled were lacking in every respect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> come up with the Archon. Yep, yep. Windmill slam in that option. Mm. I'm going to try the hearty meal. I want to know what you got. Uh, he's buying it. It sounds sophisticated like me, he says. The cafe over the pier, their cuisine didn't appear at all that appetizing, but if you vouch for their cooking, then perhaps I will give it a try. Thank you for suggesting, and ta-ta for now, old boy. I mean, if you go with Ar Archon Loaf, you're basically telling a monoline to eat shit. Fish shit, but yes, yeah, fish <laughs> bread. Ugh. <Well, laughs> and no flavoring. <sighs> Is that night all right? Who next? He's so what is going on with that poor knight over there? Yeah, he's having a tough time. He's winded. Is that Tuna and Tataru and Val I spy, says someone. There's not enough... Uh, no, there's no context clues in that statement. No. Oh, my favorite. Oh, of course. Of course. Hancock, what are you still doing here? You said you were returning immediately after dropping off your cargo. Yes, that was my original plan. After all... Any expertise required aside from the delivery of goods is well beyond my purview. But what manner of entrepreneur would squander an opportunity to study the markets of the Northern Seas? Worry not. I will return straightways to Kugane once I have finished. Of course you would find a way to turn this crisis to your advantage. She wounds me. The industrious woman running a new boutique. I am not blind to the travails of those who fight on the front lines to deliver us from ruin. Indeed, I have every confidence they will succeed, and I would make myself and my business ready for their return. If you believe them so devious, devo devout us? devoutly, devoutly, then why not put your money where your mouth is? Fair enough, Tataru. <laughs> oh, fair enough. There is not more I can do to help ready the Ark and her heroes for the maiden voyage, but on your return, I shall host a grand celebration in your honor at the Bakairo Inn. Accommodations are quite costly given the reputation of said establishment, but the East Altana Trading Company would be honored to foot the bill. With their 
I mean, I want to go to a party. Yeah. Why, why would I say no? The dude's offering me free lunch. Yeah, I want, I want lemon yeah, cakes. Yeah, lemon cakes. I'll right, take yeah, a lemon yeah, cake right now. Man. I'll lemon cake the shit out yeah. of that. Oh, oh, men of taut tastes, I see. Yes, there will be lemon cakes and much, much more. The finest delicacies the world and Lord Lolorito have to offer. I almost like you, and then you just gotta bring up Lolorito again. But let us speak more of this upon your return, lest I draw even more of Tataru's ire until next we meet. Now I want Doritos. <laughs> oh, Dorito? Yeah. Yeah. Low Dorito. Who next? Okay. Come on. Mysterious voice. Mysterious voice. Mysterious Come voice. Come on. Nero scene. Verdola. Because we saw Hancock at the dogs. Kissing Arnvold on the cheek so, so romantically. Could be Nero. Decided to spend your time in the markets, did you? This, again, has no context mm, clues, so I'm clicking ahead. Okay. And it is... Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, not not Nero. I do I do. No, no. But, you know, which, agreeable. However. Agreeable, friends. Tataru? <laughs> Biggs, Wedge. I take it work on the arc proceeds apace? Aye. Was I, I was New Yorkering for, for I it's think been you were. so long. Yeah, it's been a I long time. I believe you've been you're doing your Carl. Collaborating with the greatest minds of Charlene and Rads at hand has been a rewarding experience. And that does say nothing of what we've learned from the Loperitz. The Ark is unlike anything we've ever had the pleasure to work on. Even Nero was rendered speechless on the mo on more than one occasion. I can't wait for you to see it. And you'll never guess who paid us a visit before we came to Charlian? Alpha! I think he sensed the coming danger and returned to check on us. He, all, he was always one to turn up at a time of need, and I suppose that's why he decided to join us here in Charlian. Good thing, too. I don't know how he does it, but he has a knack for brightening your day just by being there. Still odd to believe we have the means to send you off and to the great expanse, though. To the farthest reaches of, well, everything. I never thought I'd live to see such marvels. Yet, here I am. More often than not, you and the Scions are the catalyst that sparks the need for these great inventions. To think how much I've, I'd have missed out on had I not been a member of the Ironworks. An awful lot of work, to be fair. And the privilege of being worked like a card chocobo. <laughs> There's that too. As busy as we've been, I wish there was more we could do for you, Valentuna. But no matter what happens, we have to keep believing for a brighter future. I'm I'm liking that bottom one. Mmm. I'm gonna go top. I like saying my friend that we do. <laughs> Got a bunch of thumbs up. Yep, same. When you head back, would you tell the engineers I'll be along shortly with refreshments? That's very kind uh, of you, uh, Tataro. I think that's Biggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Biggs? Oh, oh sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's you know, very kind he, of he you. Was, he, was, he was flapping his hands. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be glad to hear it. And on that note, Wedge and I shall get going. Still a few more supplies to gather before we return. I mean, they basically have one brain cell shared between them, so. It's all good. Oh, he's still staring. Oh, he's, yeah, he's still staring. He's not going to know he left. Oh. He's, yep. <laughs> so I say it was a problem, Smooth. baby. Oh, terribly sorry for the wait. Right this way, if you please.
Right. I don't believe you two have been formally introduced. This is Varsar... How did you say this? What now? Varsaradu? Hmm. Varsarud? Varsarud. Varsarud. From the Palaka stand. Have we met before? I, I'm curious. I, I would never remember. say this in person because it's always like a really awkward <laughs> thing to say. Yeah, but I want the explanation. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if we have met before. Uh, yes. It was you who helped us at Perusa. And again, when crossing the ice fields, was it not? I, I doubt we exchanged little more than glances then, but it is kind of you to remember me. Thanks to Mr. Sitaru, I and many of my friends have found gainful employment in this foreign land. It is only natural to feel fear in the face of calamity. In such times, we must look to one another for strength and succor. I know not whether we will come to call this place home or return to Thabnair, but we are here today and are glad to have contributed to the cause. And contribute they did by helping to make new garments as durable as possible. We put our hearts and souls into them. And I have every confidence they'll keep you safe in the battle to come. Gods, think how far we've come since our humble beginnings at the Waking Sands. From the rising stones to the falling snows... And even a certain insufferable someone's ruby bazaar. We were always fortunate to find friends along the way. Even when you were swept away to the first, Grahati was there to grant you sanctuary. I'll never forget the relief I felt when you all returned to us. I thought my heart would burst. Yours has been a long, long journey. And I have been privileged to watch, often with bated breath, as you've persevered time and again. For all the joy we've shared, there's been much sorrow as well. But I've long since learned you can't have one without the other. Which is why I promise to send you off to the Sea of Stars with a smile. And you can be certain I'll be the first one to welcome you back on your return. <laughs> I love the angry face during that statement. <laughs> With a smile. I'll be first. Damn it. And if anyone gets in my way, I'll kill him. Don't forget your clothes before you leave. They were expertly tailored just for you. All right, all right. Uh, in addition to your new ensemble, we have raiments and weaponry for every need. So please, feel free to browse our stock. A bold decision. <laughs> I, I say that a lot. I love that phrase. Also, oh, let me um, like, try on. Ooh, that's handsome. Let's go ahead. Why do I have a tail? Oh, yeah, you do have a tail. Oh, I'm not. Huh. Oh, not Is it, what's really. it? Is it the chest piece? What I, gives you a I'm, tail? I'm assuming it's the chest piece. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm not into that. That's interesting. That's 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 a choice. Hmm. I'm not into that. Free tail. <laughs> Overall, though, it is a it is a handsome set. But I'm not a headpiece person. But what does it look like? Is this adjustable? It is oh, adjustable. Ooh, oh, look man, at that! It's so rare you can actually adjust. Oh, that's the damn pretty thing. cool. You look like every Switch exclusive game villain ever. <laughs> does that mean? I don't look like uh, Ganon. I guess Zelda is a Switch exclusive. I'm talking about, yeah. <laughs> Unicorn Overlord, Advanced Wars, just like all of them. The, oh my god, it's the moon, dude. You gotta buy this immediately. Oh, The moon wow, is in the freaking middle. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's actually a sphere too. Oh my freaking god. The head is... Well, it's classic, you know, fugly mage hat. It's yeah. how it goes. Honestly, I feel like we've gotten so many of these this expansion that, although you do get a moon, continue on with the robes. Oh, you're okay. kind of your own Orion J. Yeah, you kind of got like a constellation yeah. thing going on. That's kind of cute. 
Jesus. This is a handsome set. Let me just grab it all. Oh, you get... Oh, is no, that right? Yeah. You get poof. Oh, Ooh, wow. I don't know about the poof. I'm not going to the edge of the universe and stubbing my toe. I'm wearing boots. I would, pro I would probably pair a different bottom with these. My desire to play the game is at odds. No, I get you. I get with you. With what my buddy's doing. All right, I must... Uh, hang on. I allow me to... I will control myself, and we will just add this to a stream of many things coming up. Yes. Because this will I be... I would recommend, like, if you're into the moon, you should get that and, and wield it as we continue. I will I will be buying... Scholar gets to be a vampire. Show it. Oh, my God. Just This is the last one. I promise I will control myself, and we will, we will actually... We will advance the plot. I don't... I guess I... I guess you could call this vampire. I mean, you ruin it with the hat, for sure. Yeah, the hat. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, the yeah. hat, like, completely oh, removes you know what? Yeah, any it, vampire it's that, it's vibes. That, that neck, whatever you call that. A, a coif? What would you call that? But yes, that's very uh, interview with a vampire. There we, there we go. All right, I'm mooning. I'm proper mooning. A cravat? Okay. Hang on, let me read the guitar. They're not upgrades for me. Okay, okay. So, yeah, you, you've, you've been gifted crafting gear, I believe. Uh... I realize you still have lots to do before you depart, so I won't keep you any longer. I do hope that you find a moment to yourself that others can make as well. They said they were returning to the Baldessian uh, Annex. I can't. No, I doubt that they stayed for long. If you decide to go look for them, I suggest speaking with Kryle first. I'm sure they would have told you their plans. I would, I would like to ask for a little more warning every time. I'm just making sure I'm dressing up at, at the request of not delaying because I'm now going to dress up.